Good evening, everybody. Welcome to your Tuesday evening Facebook Live. My name is Sarah Edwards, and I come to you guys live every Tuesday and Thursday to show you a fun new project. So we ended our second weekend retreat on Sunday, and it was so much fun. We literally stayed up till, I don't even, wee hours of the morning. One of my girlfriends, Heather, um, she actually stayed up to almost 4 o'clock in the morning almost every day to working, working on her projects. So we got so much accomplished, and I'm actually surprised I got a lot done myself. I got a lot of prep done for the April retreat. So I did, I did send the information out for the April retreat on Sunday. So if you haven't gotten an email on that, please let me know. I'll definitely be sending more out as well. But in the description of the Facebook Live, um, there's a button to sign up for emails. You can click on that and put your email address in, and you'll get all the notification of classes and retreats and all that fun stuff. So good evening, everybody. Good evening, Anna. Good evening, Heather. If you're just logging on, say hi so I know you're here. I am just going to make sure we are live on my iPad, and we are. So I had to work today. Actually, Bo and I went and saw the baby for a few hours. Oh, he's so stinking cute, and I haven't seen him in quite a while, like almost two weeks. So I definitely needed a baby fix. And then I went to work after that and literally just got home a few minutes ago, and I had some technical difficulties. My light went out in my Facebook Live station. The Internet wasn't working. So hopefully, cross our fingers, we don't have any more glitches tonight. Um, so welcome. I am going to go ahead and point you down. Um, let me bring in the camera so I don't make you dizzy. Um, today's project I actually did um, during the retreat, and we are using the Kite Delight set. Um, actually, just a stamp set. It is super fun and super cute, and it is probably my newest favorite. And today, my husband told me, is um, the last Tuesday of January is pick your vacation day. I don't know if I said that correctly, but the last Tuesday is to pick your next vacation. So I was thinking kites actually worked out perfect because I actually planned this over the retreat. When he told me that today, I was like, ooh, kites on the beach, wishing for a careful, carefree day. I think that actually works perfect. So I actually used all of the images, kind of different. Um, I'm going to show you the one we're going to be doing last. So let me bring in what I did with this. And I feel like it looks like the light bright set. Remember when we were kids or our kids' kids had the light bright? That's kind of what it reminds me of. It is so bright and cheery and so much fun. So there's this one. These kind of remind me of little spider webs a little bit, but they're actually kites. And this one, oh, is just gorgeous. And then I did them in the, um, this one is Daffodil Delight and Misty Moonlight, I believe. So these are just some of the samples that I created using this technique. And I am super excited. I actually think this one would be a super cool 4th of July one to do the stars up in the corner, red, white, and blue. And then this is one we're going to be doing tonight. So this is Magenta Madness. And I'm actually bringing in um, a different color for the little circles. And I thought we could do another one in Sage of Spruce. So that is what we're going to be playing with tonight. So let me bring in the stamp set again. So this doesn't come with any dies, but the, if you wanted to cut these out, they're super nice, bold images, so it wouldn't be easy. It wouldn't be hard to fussy cut those. Okay, so let's bring in the supplies we need. I have a piece of our basic white. This measures four and a quarter by eleven, and I scored it right in half at five and a half. And then you really only need two pieces of cardstock. This is Magenta Madness. It's four by five and a quarter. And then a piece of basic black that's three and three fourths by five. So that is all we need. You will want your embossing buddy and your Versamark. And we're going to be using the white embossing powder today. So first I want to just rub my embossing powder over my black. This just takes off any static that is on your paper. So when you put the embossing powder on, it doesn't stick to things you don't want it to stick to. And just to kind of be funny, 
So while I was making this card, um, I actually stamped it with the wrong side. So it was just this solid image. I'm like, what the heck did I do? And then I realized you have to flip it over if you want the flowers. So that's just a little funny hint that make sure your stamp is facing the right direction. Let's see, who's just logged on? Darlene, Marie, I think I saw my Aunt Helen. Hello, Vicki. Okay, so I'm just going to ink this up in Versamark. And you're not going to be able to see very well um, the Versamark when I stamp it. Because Versamark is a clear ink. Um, so I can see it, but you guys won't be able to. So I'm literally just stamping three of the kites. Let me see if I can pick it up, if I can make it where you guys can see. Okay, so you can kind of see the kites right there. It's a, especially on black, it doesn't show. So I'm going to come in with the little strings. And I'm just going to stamp the strings underneath. I'm just making sure I get them close enough to the kites. And this one's going to go right in the center. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to grab my embossing powder. Take my little spoon out and just pick it up. And I'm just going to brush it on my black. And you can see how it's now attaching to the Versamark. So now I'm just going to flip this around. This is the coolest technique. I'm so excited to show you guys. This is probably the most, oh, maybe not the most time consuming of this card because we are going to do a little bit of coloring. I'm going to show you how to get that light bright feel to it. Okay. So that looks good. I'm just going to kind of tap it, make sure there's no pieces. Now you always want to make sure to put your lid, close your um, embossing powder, and set it to the side before you turn your heat gun on. Otherwise, you're going to have a hot mess on your hands. Okay, so this is going to be a little loud, so I apologize, but we're going to heat this up until you see it to start to melt. And hopefully the camera will show it starting to melt. I love embossing. Okay, can you see it starting to melt? So there's super tiny pieces, particles of plastic. And that's what makes, once the heat hits it, it makes it melt on your cardstock. So you're just going to run your embossing tool around until all of it melts. You don't want to hold it in one spot for very long because you could possibly burn your cardstock. Almost done. Okay. It is all melted. Set that to the side and this is what you're left with. It's actually beautiful being white as well, but we are going to bring in some of our blender pens and do a little bit of coloring. So I have two sets here. I have the Magenta Madness and I have the Fresh Freesia. So I'm going to use the light Fresh Freesia and the dark uh, Magenta Madness. So when you're doing this, you don't have to be super careful when you're coloring. Um, just because you're on black cardstock, so it's not super, you don't have to really worry if you're going off the flower a little bit, because the black is going to hide. I'm just going to try not to color the little white pieces, because the white piece, the little white dots, I'm going to come in with a different color to make those pop. So like I said, the most time consuming, maybe not be the embossing powder, it might be the coloring, but it is so beautiful. And definitely a different technique and a different look to it. And I'm not pushing very hard on the blender pins. 
I'm literally just letting it glide. Sorry, I know I see some comments coming through. I can't read them because I might make a mess. Okay, so this kite is done. Let's move on to the other pieces. Hopefully we have enough time to do the other color. I probably should have prepped it a little bit, but I didn't. I actually just thought about doing this Shades of Spruce right before I went live. And you could color these any color you want. Like I showed you in the beginning, I did a ton of them in different colors. I couldn't stop. Once I got going, I was hooked. So there. And you, you have to use um, the blender pens when you're doing this technique because our regular ink won't dry. Um, the blender pens is an alcohol based pen. So you do need to make sure to use the alcohol markers. I only know that because I tried. So saving you guys the heartache of it not drying. Okay, I'm just going to come down here, color this, and then we'll go back in and do the kites. So it really doesn't take that long, but I don't know. I think coloring is therapeutic sometimes. I know Jessica did a lot of coloring at the retreat, and it, she even said it was super therapeutic. Okay, there we go. And now just come in and color the kites. And did you guys know it was National Plan a Vacation Day? We went over and saw Cassie and the baby, and Bo was telling Cassie that it was plan a vacation day and she said that they already had planned a trip to the Baltic Sea so I guess they want to go with us when we go hopefully we go so I'm just gonna finish these up sorry I know it's hard to keep a conversation going while you're coloring you kind of need a little bit of silence but I don't want to be super silent Okay. Yeah, I definitely probably should have prepped that other card. We'll see what we can get done though. And if we don't get it done with the live, I will still do it and post a picture of it later. Almost done. <laughs> Okay, sorry, I don't know what else to talk about. So well, how was everybody's day? Go ahead and put in the comment how your day was. Mine was good. Work went really well. It was super nice and easy and slow. So that was nice. Okay, Whew. we're done with that. So let's grab the light, fresh freesia. And actually, that might be a little too light, so let's grab the dark. And I'm just going to color in these white pieces. And that still might be a little bit light. But you can go over it a couple times to make it a little bit darker if you wanted to. Just for the live, I'm just going to do it one time. But even them being white looks super cute. And you can see I'm not making sure I'm staying within the white because the black will hide the um, the black will hide the coloring mistakes. Look at how cute that is. So it is easy as layering these two pieces together. So let's grab some adhesives. Got to get the little thing off the end so it will come out easier. There we go. Grab our card base. Give that a good crease. Let me bring in my bone folder. 
flip this over. So the most time consuming is probably coloring it. But it is definitely worth it. I won't lie. Okay, I'm going to grab some ink and a piece of scrap to stamp our sentiments. Wishing for a carefree day. Let's stamp that right in the center. There we go. And now I'm going to bring in my banner pick a punch. So I want this little um, banner on the end. So I'm just going to line this up. Perfect. I do need to trim this side off. Line this up. And I always flip it over just to make sure I have it even. Hopefully that's even. Oh, yeah, not too shabby. We're going to flip that over and grab some dimensionals. And there we go. Put a couple dimensionals on there. Put on your sentiment. Grab a few diamonds. Ooh, that one went flying. Let's see if I can pick it up and just add a little bit of bling to it. There we go. That is how easy it is to put this super cute card together. So let's see. It's mm, We might be able to do a tiny bit of the other color. So let's just do... Let's just do one of the kites. You don't have to do all three, let's just do one. Let me start with the embossing buddy. We're just gonna do him right in the center. And then we only have one we're gonna have to color. Let's grab his tail. And you could do um, the uh, little bow ties or you can do the stars. Either one would be super cute. And I'll bring all of them back in um, once I get done with this. And then you can see all the different pieces that I did. If you're just now logging on, you may not have seen all of them that I did. Okay, here we go. Just give that a little tap. Make sure to close this and set it aside. Let me heat this really quick. I didn't get a little bit of embossing on the edge, but we'll still make it work. If you guys haven't played with embossing, I definitely would. It is a lot of fun. There we go. And you might want to wait just a quick second until it isn't sticky. And then hopefully the, oh my goodness, look how pretty that is. This is Shades of Spruce. This is definitely pretty. Hopefully the video shows the true color. And I might just do all of it um, in Shades of Spruce and not change the two colors up just to save a little bit of time. but a super easy and wow card. Little time consuming, but still easy. And you can go over this a couple of times if you wanted to, just to make it a little bit brighter. So if you don't wanna do the two tones, you can definitely speed up the, the coloring. I just wanted to get them both done to show you the versatility of all of our blender pins. Oh, this would be a cute St. Patrick's Day card too. Okay, easy peasy, right? Let's flip this over, grab some glue. And 
let's clean our sentiment off so I can stamp and then we'll be ready to go. And you would probably do this with any one of our stamp sets. I guess it doesn't have to be this one. You could definitely play around with it though. Sorry, my kids are texting me. I don't think they realize that mom is on her Facebook Live. Well, I did ask them a question before I went live, so they're probably just responding to it. Okay, so our last banner. Flip that over, grab some dimensionals, and then I will scoot the camera out so you guys can see all of these fun, pretty cards. So you could go as elaborate as you want on this, or I think one looks just as cute. And remember, when you're using the green glue, less is more with it. Okay, let me get some of this out of your way. So when I scoot the camera back, you don't see my hot mess of a desk. Okay, oh, you'll still see a little bit of a hot mess, but that's okay. Okay, so this is these are the two that we just did on the live. And these are the ones that I prepped before going live just to show you different ways to use the same stamp set and the same um, designs. So there you go. So I think there's what two, four, six, eight, nine, ten. I think there's ten cards if I counted right. So there you go. Hopefully you guys liked today's cards. I will try to take a picture of them and post them on the Facebook page as well. I try to, I do like to try to do that. But we'll see if I can fit all of these in a photo. So that is your live for tonight. I will definitely be back this Thursday. The last couple Thursdays I um, haven't been here just because we've been right in the middle of retreat. Um, I did sign, send an email for the April retreat. So if you are free, definitely you don't want to miss that. I'm already starting on the pillow gifts and they are super duper cute. Anyway, if you need anything, please feel free to reach out. If not, I will see you guys on Thursday. And card class is February 5th. So if you are free that day, you can come to card class as well. We'll talk to you guys soon. Have a good night. Bye-bye.